Hello, I'm Dr. Dorsey, inventor of Posturific Brace, Neck Curb Repair, Sit and Decompress, and the Get Fit Belt. And in this video, I just want to go over what causes your low back pain. You only have three choices of what causes it. Well, three tissues cause it. And I had another video that talked about what causes neck pain. It's the same three tissue. You got muscle, muscle, nerve, disc. These are the only three tissues that can cause pain, okay? So, what creates problems and what um, makes these tissues fire up and get inflamed and create the problem? Typically what I saw, if it's not an injury related, so say maybe you got in a car accident or maybe you slip and fell, obviously that's an acute injury and uh, there's inflammation in that area, so that's gonna cause problems. But the number one thing that I saw in my office was uneven hips. Okay, uneven hips. So typically, let me just draw this up. Your hips should be somewhat level. Okay, so here's your sacrum, here's your spine, your head's up here. This is your left side, right side, your legs coming out here, and your other leg. Okay, typically, you want your spine and your sacrum to be as close as level as you can be. Now, you, you're allowed to be off five millimeters or less. So five millimeters or less is about the width of a pencil, okay? Anything more than that, anything more than five millimeters, you have to put a heel lift in, okay? There's, there's no other option that you have. Um, some chiropractors think that uh, they can adjust that out. I've adjusted thousands of people and seen thousands of patients, and uh, it's not true. Typically, a patient would come from another chiropractor to see me because they hear of what I'm doing and fixing people um, with my product and with the heel lifts, and uh, it seems to work for people, and it, it, it does work for people because it makes sense, right? Think about it. If you have five millimeters, would you build a house on ground that was five millimeter, well, I'll just say an inch. If, if uh, the corner of the house was an inch lower than the other, what, do you, what would happen to the house? Wouldn't it be tilted? Right? So the spine is the same way. So if you have this side's low, just say this, this side's low a little bit, okay? Let's just say it's 10 millimeters, which is twice the width of a pencil. What happens to your spine? Well, your spine has to compensate for that discrepancy, right? Not only that, it changes how your legs work and your knees work and your ankles work too. So people who have uneven hips will also have knee issues. So if you've had a knee replacement, I would almost guarantee that your hips were uneven and your orthopedic surgeon did nothing about it because that's the business that they're in, right? They're, they're in to do uh, surgery. They don't want to correct the problem, which the problem was your uneven hips. Well, how does that happen? How do you get uneven hips? You're born with it, typically, okay? You're either born with it or it's caused by an injury. So if you, say you bang up your knee playing a sport or you slip and fall on the ice or whatever else, and you injure your knee and you lose some, some height in that cartilage, well, obviously the loss of height in the cartilage is gonna create an unevenness. Now, that's one of the ways to do it, to have an uneven hips, but typically uh, people are just born that way. No one's perfect. You know, one ear is bigger than another. One eye's different size, your hands are different sizes, well, your legs are the same thing, okay? And your feet are the same way. No one's perfect. Um, but the difference is, is that if it's five millimeters or more, you gotta do something about it, or you're just gonna deteriorate your spine, okay? Now, how's that work? How's deterioration work? Well, um, car tires, if you're driving your car and everything's in perfect alignment, those tires wear out normally, okay? Your spine and your joints are the same way. All the joints in your spine. You know, they're supposed to move in a certain manner, okay? Same thing with the spine. Everything should be aligned in a certain manner. When things become uneven, say this hip's low, well, that creates pressure over here. It's gonna wear the disc out, okay? Create inflammation, put pressure on the nerve, and now we're starting to see the problem develop, okay? So hips need to be 100% level, close as, as close as they can be, and then if you do that, then you need to lengthen your spine. Okay, now deterioration is just loss of disc height or loss of fluid in the disc. Well, once you start losing it, how do you stop it from you know going any further? Well, you have to decompress the spine. You have to stretch it out. You have to get it longer. Okay, 
uh, what was it, NASA, the guy that went, to, went into space. When he came back, he was, what, two and a half inches taller than his twin brother? Because the gravity squeezes you all day, squeezes the nutrients out of the disc, and when we sleep at night, we actually get a little bit taller, and then as we stand up during the day, gravity squeezes and we lose that fluid out of the disc. So, I developed a product, it's called Sit and Decompress, that we recommend you use it about three minutes a day, start now, and what it does is it helps elongate the spine. Okay, results have been success. I mean, results have been great. Huge success for people with scoliosis, degenerative disc, pinched nerves, um, even people who've lost height that have gotten people to get some of their height back. Because it makes sense, right? If, you're, if you lose height throughout the day because your discs are losing fluid, well, we gotta rehydrate them by taking pressure off. And that's what the sit and decompress does. Okay, so there's only three things that cause back pain. It's either muscle, nerve, or disc. Muscles um, typically get better with um, massage, stretching, and uh, if you take like something over the counter, Advil or um, Tylenol or something like that, it feels better. You know you're dealing with a muscle. Nerve and disc, not so much. These are very painful. They take a long time to heal, and the reason it is is because they don't have much nerve or they don't have much blood supply going to them. Okay, nerves are the slowest to heal and discs are very difficult to heal. It's not impossible, but they're difficult because a lot of pressure is sitting on those, okay? The discs are the spacers in between the vertebrae, okay? You have two hard bones, you need something in between to allow those hard bones to move on top of each other, okay? So when anybody gets a disc injury, a lot of times they feel like they're locked up, and it's because that disc has changed shape, okay? And when it changes shape, uh, it acts as a, a door wedge in a door, like you know when you open a door and you put a wedge to prevent it from moving. That's very similar to what happens when you get a disc injury. Okay, not good, but you have hope. I developed the product to help disc injuries. It's the best product on the market. Market sit and decompress. Okay, so that's what's causing your low back pain. Get your hips level. Your spine will get straight takes pressure off where it shouldn't be, should be even pressure on all your joints, and you won't have any problems. Okay? Got any questions, you can always email me or comment below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for tuning in. We'll be making another video here. Uh, not sure, something about the spine. All right, thanks for tuning in.